Hey everybody, how's it going? I'd like to welcome you back to the channel and uh, what a beautiful day it is here in northern Michigan. It's uh, almost 70 today and the humidity finally dropped a little bit. So uh, we're going to talk today about uh, how much wood am I going to go through with an outdoor wood stove? Great question. Got that question a lot. So I'm going to try and answer it the best I can. But first, men and women if you're looking to get your spouse something for christmas my wife uh brenda and i'm gonna leave a description uh in the description below uh her little side hustle is doing very well and she makes custom tumblers i call them custom uh cups you can use these for she even put my name on this uh for whatever drinking uh, beer drinking kool-aid drinking water drinking uh, mixed drinks uh, iced tea and then she made uh, we're going on an elk hunt uh, you can see I got an elk on this she custom made this and put epoxy on this and it is just beautiful so I wanted to do a shout out if you need a tumbler need an idea for an elk, uh, for uh, your spouse or for yourself uh, look in the description but anyway let's talk about how much wood uh, is we're gonna use with an outdoor wood stove what's it what what's a good average First of all, you're gonna want some uh, underground pipe. Uh, that is a, is a must with the outdoor wood stove boilers. And there's many different types out there. And through Central Boiler, uh, they basically have three kinds. Uh, 25 millimeter, one inch, inch and a quarter. So if you're gonna get an outdoor wood stove, you're uh, spending all this money for a furnace and to save uh, energy costs and stuff and to save consumption on your wood, why wouldn't you go with the best out on the market as far as underground pipe? Uh, spray foam, hard outer cover, it's separated, it's hardly, I mean, heat loss, some. Not like there's some types out there. When I was a dealer, I could have sold, but I didn't sell. I went with the good stuff. They make 25 millimeter, a little bit cheaper. The one inch is probably gonna be on an average right around that 12 bucks a foot, uh, 1150 to 1250, let's just say, for this. Uh, you can, if you're just gonna heat your home, you can go down to 25 millimeter. Uh, not a big deal. Central Boiler carries this, the dealers carry it. Uh, so that is something to consider. I know several people, they just use this and it's fine. Uh, so. Check it out, check both of them out. So how much wood are we gonna use? Well, with the underground pipe, you're gonna have to determine how far away from the house. So if you're 50 foot, 30 foot, 100 foot, all that's gonna, is gonna be a factor in how much wood you're gonna end up using. Uh, this stuff, I'd say at 100 feet with the thermal pecs, uh, you're gonna be probably dropping one to three degrees, somewhere in there, and it's only gotta be buried uh, that foot, foot and a half let's say deep so once you're in the house switch over to your pecs and things like that so how much wood good question it all depends on how well insulated your house is uh, depends on how big a house you you have do you have forced air do you have a boiler system do you have in floor heat so another big factor is it a two-story house so we, we got how big it is. Is it a two story? The other thing is vaulted ceilings. Do you have a lot of vaulted ceilings in your house, which uh, that all creates more heating area, more heating space that we need to heat up. Another good thing is windows. How big a windows? Do you have pitcher windows? Do you have a lot of windows? Uh, the house that we had, a pole barn house, had uh, some big windows to the west and I thought you know what I'm gonna gain a lot of energy through that so my wood stove won't have to work so hard the first year we had it uh, we didn't have blinds we lived oh I'd say well right around 100 yards off the country road no traffic so I didn't worry about uh, people looking in my windows plus I had the Anderson 400s with the the gloss on the outside so during the day you can't really see in it and so it was to let heat in and keep the sun out during the summer but we had those bay windows and i used you know a little bit of wood i didn't think nothing of it so the next year me and brenda decided to put some blinds up 
uh, to cover up those big bay windows, I'm telling you, it made a huge difference. So even though you got great windows, if you are not covering them at night, uh, keeping that heat inside, you're gonna have heat loss there is what I'm getting at. Do you have a basement? If you have a basement and you're putting heat down there, do you have a garage? Uh, all those factors come in on how much, uh, how much wood you're gonna burn. The other thing is how warm are you gonna keep your house? Uh, most people would keep their house 65 degrees, let's say, and then once they get a wood stove, man, they crank it up. Uh, we usually would see people with 70 to, and higher. I always kept mine right around that 72 degrees because you know what, if I'm burning wood, I wanted to be comfortable uh, in my house. I had a lot of people that would come in and go, wow, is it warm in here? The other thing is if you're gonna heat your domestic hot water, I found that when we come into the house, you're gonna wanna heat your domestic hot water. That way you can shut your electric off. You're gonna save energy there. If you have a, a propane or natural gas, let's shut that off as well and uh, save on fossil fuels. And I also found that the hot water heater would draw right around two degrees off my water temp uh, of the wood stove on average, because I put a thermostat at the bottom and I put a thermostat after it heated it. And I found right around two degrees was a pretty good average that it was using. So on a good average, most people would right around that 15, to 25 face cord on an average home. Uh, face cord, I'm talking behind me. Uh, this is all split up. Uh, face cord, it's been split up. It's starting to crack. It's starting to dry. Good seasoned wood. Uh, I found a face cord is right around that 18, 16 to 18 inches, four foot high, eight foot long. That's what I'm talking about a face cord here in, that I'm used to. So. 15 to 25 uh, face cord at whatever length you're cutting it, four foot high, eight foot long. So you're looking at 15 to 25 is a great average. Now, if you're starting to do uh, an out building and things like that, obviously it's going to go up. A good way to look at it also is at this property is 10 acres and it's blow down. Uh, so instead of letting that wood just rot, you're able to get that and you ain't got to go to the gym for your exercise. This is your exercise. You get the family involved, you go out and you cut some wood, you split some wood, you throw it in a trailer, you bring it up and you stack it. So what if it takes you four or five weekends, whatever, you're getting your exercise, you're outside, you're not sitting inside the house. That's the way we looked at it. So you got your own wood, you can buy your own wood. Uh, from the loggers in uh, uh, pulp uh, form, which is uh, four foot high, eight foot long and such. So it's right from the logger. They can bring it and they can drop it right next to your wood stove if you wish. Uh, saw it up and throw it, split it if you want. Split the stuff down and then uh, go ahead and, and let it season and, and, and burn. Another way is uh, there's a lot of slab wood out there that's very cheap from sawmills. Uh, that you can buy. Uh, example, here's a piece. Uh, when I talk slab wood, a piece of wood that was slabbed off, and you can buy that uh, relatively cheap. That is another option. So there's many different options to get your fuel uh, source. I did that video with Mike Bosher. He gets pallets uh, dropped off to him, so he just uses pallets. Uh, pretty much during the summer months and stuff like that, just to go ahead and use it up for free energy. So about 15 to 25 uh, face cord. Don't forget, use uh, some good insulated underground pipe. If you're going the distance, you're gonna do an outdoor wood stove, don't skimp yourself on some good uh, underground pipe. So that's all I got today. Appreciate everybody watching our channel. Have a great day and God bless and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.